Question number 27 says a farmer buys a used tractor for rupees 12,000. He pays 6,000 rupees cash and agrees to pay the balances annual installments of rupees 500 plus 12 percent interest on the unpaid amount. Pretty interesting. How much will the tractor cost him? Okay, on the unpaid amount, that's what you're looking, you're looking at. Used tractor for rupees 12,000. He pays rupees 6,000 cash and agrees to pay the balance in annual installments of rupees 500 plus 12 percent interest on the unpaid amount. Okay, 12 percent interest on the unpaid amount is the key. So, how much will he pay? So, 500, 500, 500 up till this annual installments. Annual installments will imply uh, 12 installments, right? Unpaid amount. Hmm. Pays rupees 6,000 cash. Annual installments of rupees 500. What does that imply? That implies that, okay, from the remaining 6,000, remaining 6,000, some some interest would have accumulated, right? So he pays 500 out of that 6,000 and plus the additional interest that has been accumulated over there, interest over 6,000. At the end of the next year, what does he have? So he pays 500 plus additional interest on the remaining amount. Remaining amount was 5,500 because he has already paid 500 before. So on the remaining amount, 5,500, he pays an interest of 12%, right? Annual installments, that's the important thing, that these are not monthly installments, these are annual installments, yes, yes, annual installments of rupees 500. Okay, so the extra amount that he pays is the interest, 12% interest on, okay, he pays 6,000 initially plus 500 and plus 500 plus 500 plus 500. 12% of remaining that is 6000 in this year second year right plus he pays another 500 plus 12% of 5500 because that's the remaining amount he has already paid 500 over there plus he pays another 500 and 12% of 5500 sorry 5000 plus so on and so forth and how many times this 500 will happen 12 times. 500 comes 12 times, right? Okay. And this 6,000, 5,000, 500, 5,000 will reduce to automatically 500 over here, right? Okay. So that's a total of 12 terms plus 6,000 rupees extra. Okay. So he pays this much amount. S will be equal to 6,000 plus remaining 500 times 12 will be 6,000. That's 12,000 plus some other series, what's that? 12% of 6,000, 12% of 5,500 will be actually 12% is 12 upon 100 of 6,000 of 6,000 or you can have 5,500 or you can have 5,000 and so on and so forth. This is 12 terms actually, the last term will be 500 out of this, right? 12 terms, the last term will be this. This is what we are interested in. This is an arithmetic progression which is very simple to handle. Yes, 12,000 is okay. Plus 12 upon 100 is also okay. You can take out a 500 common from here. What remains is 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus dot 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 up till 1. Right, this is sum of natural numbers which is easy. Which is very easy to handle, right? 100 goes with these two zeros. This becomes 12,000 plus 60 times sum to 12 numbers this is 12 into 13 by 2 yes yes this is 6 and this simplifies to which implies amount paid s is equal to 12,000 plus what is this 6 into 6 is 36 36 into 13 is what we are interested in or for that matter 13 into 6 is 78 78 into 6 you can find 36 into 13 easily or 6, 3, 18, 8, 1 carry 3, 3, 9, plus 6 is 15, plus 1 is 16. You get 3, 1, 3, 4. 4, 6, 8 is what you get, right? So 4, 6, 8, 0 is the extra amount that he has paid, paid right? That's what he has paid on this amount. What else? 12,000 plus 4, 6, 8, 0. That becomes equal to 16, 6, 8, 0 rupees. So that's the final amount and rupees... 16680 is my answer for this question. That's the net he needs to pay for buying that tractor. After paying 6000 
in cash and agrees to pay the balance in annual installments of 500 plus 12 percent interest how much will the tractor cost him this is the amount right that's the final answer for this question number 27 as you can see over here